But I stood in Ballyhonnet, and this is where people have to stand up and be counted, and the day is going to come. I stood in Ballyhonnet with Farmer Frank Ward, I heard them talking up there, and we got the head fuck to us outside by some farmers that were bringing in cattle. Now, what we'll have to do in this country, and you're right in what you're doing, and I'll support you 100%, but what we have to do, sometimes we take the Queen's shilling in the likes of the beef genomics, which I said was the greatest bollocks yeah. of a scheme that ever came out. <laughs> we also went up to Dublin three or four years ago for a cap, and farmers are saying they're going out of business. We backed farmers, small farmers in the west of Ireland, went to Dublin to back farmers to get 150,000 a year of a single farm payment. Are we going to do the same as that in 2020? These are things we have to decide as farmers. Are we going to stand together once and for all? And if it makes us stare, I don't know, we saw it in the ball. Garrett's came in front of us. We have to stand and fair play to the people who have got to grow balls and stand together, not bring the cattle to the market the following day when you send out and text that you're not going to supply a factory. Yeah. 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 in the world. I travelled 26 counties in Ireland and bog people stood up. And the 130,000 farmers in the country. And if we cannot win this one, then we're as well to give up to fuck.